based on where the defect lies in your hemoglobin. As I told you, the defect is a genetic defect. It is conferred in the genes and it is in the hemoglobin protein. So depending upon which chain is affected, we have something like alpha thalassemia. And similarly, we have beta thalassemia. These are just names based on which chain of the hemoglobin molecule is affected. Both of them are autosomal recessive inherited. That means both your parents have to be carriers for the baby to be born with thalassemia major. And there is another classification based on the severity of the thalassemia. So there's something like thalassemia minor. That is again a trait or a carrier state. It is not a disease. Then there is thalassemia intermedia and thalassemia major. This is basically differentiated on the severity. So a thalassemia major requires lifelong regular blood transfusions to survive. Well, as a thalassemia intermedia may require intermittent blood transfusions, does not require so many transfusions as a thal major. So this is just based on the severity of the disease. 